really vested in the relationship. And we, we often are confused as to whether our partner really likes us or is into us or wants a future with us. And this book is gonna give you signs and red flags of whether your partner is into you or he's just basically drifting and wasting your time. So go to Amazon and download the Kindle free trial membership. Doesn't cost you anything and check it out. It may help you. Okay, and have a great day. Hi, you guys, and welcome to Dating Advice with Yaz. Tonight, I'm going to talk about how the dating world has become, okay? And this is just in general, too, everyday life. This has become a me society, not a, quote, we society. And what I mean by that, the reason that I came up with that with this whole podcast is because when you think about it, all right, there's a lot of people that put time in to try to get to know somebody and that person is not giving them the same kind of attention or priority, okay, because they're centered on themselves, all right? Now, there's nothing wrong with watching out for yourself, all right? But what I'm talking about is in a lot of instances, okay, people will come on strong and love bomb you. I love that term, love bomb, okay? (laughs) Because it's so common and it's such a form of manipulation, you guys. It's all part of the game. You gotta know the game, all right? And the best way to know the game is to talk to your male friends who a lot of them know the game, all right? But the point I'm trying to make with all this is this, okay? A lot of women have said to me, you know, he came on strong. He told me how much he likes me. And then he just disappeared. He didn't say anything. Or he just stopped calling completely, okay? First of all, I just want to say this, all right? Number one, don't believe what people tell you in the very beginning, all right? You need to take it with a grain of salt, all right? The only way you're going to know what somebody is about is in time to watch their consistency, watch if they make you a priority, okay, and to look at their prior track record, all right, their dating record. Are they able to stay in relationships, okay? These are all clues as to the type of person that you're dealing with. The other thing you have to remember is not everybody does the right thing in this world, all right? The right thing would tell would be to tell somebody, you know what, you're a nice person, but I'm just not interested, okay? So what they do is they stop calling because they feel they don't need to give you an answer that you'll just take the message when they just stop contacting you, okay? They don't even want to get into it with you. See, that's the thing. They don't want to get into you, get into it with you because they don't want the back and forth drama. They don't want you coming back at them and saying, well, why? Why did you say you were all into me? Because they don't want to show that they were fake, okay? They don't want to come back at you because they're cowards. These people are cowards, all right? They don't have the decency to tell you, you know what, you're a nice person, but, you know, I just don't feel the chemistry with you, all right? They are a me person, all right? The point I'm trying to make with this whole podcast, okay, and in life, you have to remember something, all right? People will take what they can get. Listen again. People will take what they can get from you and People can't hurt you unless you allow them to hurt you. And the way you you don't let people hurt you is you have your standards. You have your boundaries. And you don't break them for anybody, all right? That's how you avoid getting hurt, okay? Because if people could do things very easily without having to put the work in, They will. And what I mean by that is this. If they could come to your house or you could come to their house and they don't have to put the work in as far as taking you out on a date or taking the time to do things with you that involve conversation 
and non-physical contact things, all right? That gives you a clue as to whether the person is really interested and looking to be invested in the relationship. But it's up to you as far as what you allow, okay? If you're starting to date somebody and you're bringing them into your home, first of all, you should never do that. It's a safety issue because you don't know that person well. Okay, and if you break it off with them, now they have your address. Now you don't know if they could stalk you or show up at your house. Okay, you don't want to go to their house because you don't know what the situation is there, if it's safe. All right. And the other thing is when you go to people's houses, you know, the bedrooms right down the hall. All right. And most of the time they're going to try to get physical with you. They're not going to sit there and want to just talk all night. Very rarely, okay? And that's if it, that you're dealing with a very respectful person, all right? But in a lot of cases, that's the ultimate goal, especially with guys is, you know, their ultimate goal in a lot of cases, not everybody is that they want sex, all right? And this is what a lot of women, this is where they make their mistake. They make it too easy, all right? They Because they like the guy so much, all right, they agree and they lower their standards. They agree or they don't really see what could happen. And they either go to his place or he comes to her place and it's all too soon. You're moving too soon. You don't know that person well. And what happens is you spend time with that person. Um, in a lot of cases, they have sex with that person. That person is showing them a lot of um, attention and love bombing because that person has an ultimate goal of what they want from you, all right? And usually in the beginning, it's not usually a relationship. It's more of a physical attraction, a lust, and wanting something sexual in a lot of cases. Now, this isn't everybody, but this is in a lot of cases, you guys. All right, so you have to be aware of that. That's why a lot of women, they come to me and they'll say, you know, he was so great in the beginning. He showed me so much attention. We had a great weekend together. And then all of a sudden he stopped calling. Well, number one, you weren't in a committed relationship. You were just starting to get to know him. You went to his week, you went to his house for the weekend. Okay. You had sex with him. He got everything that he wanted from you. All right. And now he's probably going to another option and will call you when he feels like having a hookup, but he's going to say to you, he wants more, he's really into you, or he's going to give you some lame excuse that he was busy, all right? When somebody starts giving you excuses, it is a red flag, all right? It's like I told you in the past prior podcasts, people make time for who they want to make time for. But the point is this, okay? Stop giving the benefits right away without having them earn them. This is where a lot of women make mistakes. They're giving too much without having the men earn it, okay? So you have to you know, you have to make somebody work for it. They have to be consistent. They have to get on the phone with you and show an interest, not just that they could say, oh, when are we going to hang out or when are you coming over or when can I come there? All right. That's not somebody working to really get to know you. Somebody that's working to try to get to know you will make the time in their day. They will give you the time in their day. Okay whether it's an hour a day to talk to you and get to know you and ask you questions about you, all right? But in today's world, a lot of people, they want that instant gratification, okay? They wanna, and they know that the way that they do that is all they have to do is love bomb the women. This is what they do, ladies, okay? They love bomb the women and they tell them everything that they want to hear, okay? And some guys are better than other guys in doing that, all right? You have to be able to see through the BS, okay? You can't believe everything that they tell you because 
people will be interested in you for some benefit, okay? It's like I told you, that benefit could be sex, that benefit could be flattering their ego, okay? That benefit could be having somebody to talk to because they're bored and they need somebody who acts like a therapist to talk to them about their problems when they're bored, but when they're busy, you don't hear from them, okay? When it's a Saturday night, you don't hear from them, okay? That's somebody using you for some other benefit than to really try to get to know you, all right? You got to know the difference. You got to understand something. There's a lot of people in this world that are users, all right? A lot. So, like I said, you know, it's very difficult, but you have to set the standards. You have to sit down and know what is acceptable for you and what isn't acceptable, okay? You know, if you're going to accept somebody, you know, contacting you uh, one day and be on the phone with you for two hours and then you don't hear from them two weeks and then all of a sudden they contact you and you act like nothing, then that is behavior that you're accepting and that's the way they're going to roll with you because you accepted that, all right? So you have to set your standards, your boundaries, or they will think that you are, you know, somebody that will accept that, that you don't value yourself, all right? And they won't have respect towards you, all right? Because they're going to think that you're so desperate, you'll accept anything, all right? So stop giving passes to the wrong people who are looking to waste your time, all right? The other thing is don't move very quickly with somebody, all right? It's a marathon. It takes time. That's how you weed out the real from the fake. The fake will drop off. They're not going to want to put the work in. They're not going to want to get on the phone with you every day, okay? That's somebody who's really not interested in getting to know you, even though they may be telling you, oh, wifey, send you an engagement ring emoji or anything like that, emoji, okay? You know, you can't believe that stuff. It's how, it's whether they're consistent, all right? So, you know, you have to understand something. You have to look at the person that you're talking to and you have to say to yourself, are they truly interested in me or are they looking for some kind of benefit from me, all right? Some kind of benefit. And a lot of them, believe me, a lot of them will want the benefit of just having somebody to talk to when they're bored, okay? So they'll contact you. They'll tell you about their job for four hours. They'll tell you about their kids. They'll talk about themselves for hours because they need an ear to talk to and you're there, okay? But then when it comes to trying to get together with you and it's a weekend, all of a sudden they're nowhere to be found, okay? But then they contact you on a Sunday morning after they've gone out with somebody else, all right? That's somebody using you for a benefit of just filling in their day when they're bored, okay? Because they are a me, not a we, looking at the relationship with you, okay? They're just looking at it like, I'm just using you. And here's the other thing. People will say, well, why does he contact me if he's really not interested in me? Why doesn't he just say he's not interested in me? Because he's using you for some kind of benefit, all right? Or it could be the other way around too, okay? A, a female could do that as well, all right? But they're using you for some benefit. That's why they keep you around. And believe it or not, people keep you around for other reasons than to just have a relationship with you. They could be keeping you around because they were going to try to have sex with you when they get around to it in between all the other options that they have. They could keep you around because it, it makes them feel good, their ego, knowing that, you know what, you're available and you're giving them your time, so you must be into them, okay? A lot of people are like that, you guys. It's about their egos, all right? Like I said, it's the me, not the we, all right? It's about them. They don't care about your feelings, all right? If somebody's not treating you right and, and not 
showing you the consistency and the work and making you a priority, okay? They're not really concerned about what happens to you. They're just concerned in what benefit you are providing to them. And this is what you got to understand, all right? You can't expect people to be to react the way you would react in a relationship, all right? That's why people that are respected are people that could say, no, I'm not going to tolerate that. No, I'm not going to, you know, deal with somebody who keeps me on the phone three hours and then doesn't contact me for another two, three weeks and expects they're going to get on the phone with me like nothing happened. No, you're going to set your boundaries and not accept that kind of behavior. Okay. Because if you accept it, that is the behavior you will get. All right. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is you want to take it slow also, all right, as far as sexually is because now there is a rise in STD diseases and HIV, all right? So you have to be very careful. You don't know where these people have been, especially with the hookups that are going on on the online dating sites, all right? So you don't want to rush sexually with somebody for a couple of reasons, Number one, you know, if you have sex with them right away, a lot of times they fall off, you don't hear from them, and then they may contact you whenever they feel like trying to hook up with you again in between other people. Like I said, you don't know where these people have been, and STDs lead to infertility, ectoptic pregnancy, and you make yourself at risk for HIV, all right? Understand that love is earned, all right? Anybody that comes on strong to you really fast in the beginning is a red flag. If they don't know you and they haven't taken the time to talk to you and get to know who you are, who you are, okay, as a person, you know, your prior history in relationships, your family life, whether you have children, you know, what you're doing in your career. If they're not interested in those kind of things and they're telling you they love you, They don't love you, they lust you, okay? So don't feed into the nonsense, okay? The way you can get around all this kind of stuff, you guys, is to not rush, all right? Not rush. Love is earned, all right? So if somebody is really sincere, they will take their time, all right? And it's very hard today Because there are so many people that are hooking up, all right? And sometimes you meet somebody and you don't know, is this a real one? Or is this, you know, is this somebody trying to play me because they're looking for something else from me? Maybe sex or something, or they're looking to make me an option. Look at their consistency. Look if they get on the phone with you. Look if they make you a priority, okay? And look if they come on too strong, too fast, all right? Because this is what a lot of them do. They come on too strong, too fast, and then they burn out. So, you know, take it slow, have other options, all right? Slow these people down, take it slow, all right? And, you know, if somebody's trying to rush you, that is another red flag. So I hope that helps you. And just understand that, you know, you can't, expect too much, you know, from people that aren't serious about you. That's their imperfections. That's their choices. All right. You have to just say to yourself, okay, they're not for me. All right. They're not for me. And although they're trying to manipulate me, yes, manipulate. All right. And tell you things that they really don't feel. Okay. It is for their benefit, okay? They're not worried about your benefit. They're not worried about if they stop calling you how you feel after they've loved bombed you. They're not worried about that. They're worried about them, okay? The me society. They're worried about themselves. So what you need to do is worry about yourself, Don't worry about if they ever call you again, if you haven't heard from them. 
later next. There's so many people in the world. We don't give our time to the wrong people. Our time is valuable. That's a piece of our life that we will never get back. And people like that don't deserve a piece of your life or your time, okay? So when you recognize that something isn't right, all right, trust your gut. Your gut is telling you something for a reason, all right? Then you know that that person is not treating you according to your standards. And you have to put that line in the sand, all right, and let them know this is not how I go. I roll as far as relationships go, okay? And if that person can't come up to your level, then you have to let them go, okay? You have to let them go because if you accept that behavior, and especially in the beginning, it will continue and will get worse down the road in most cases, all right? So just understand that you have to watch out for yourself, Okay, and give your time to people that do the right thing by you, people that are into you. When people are into you, you will know you won't have to second guess anything. You will know you won't have to sit there and say, Why haven't I heard from him? Okay, if you haven't heard from him and he has a good reason for not getting in touch with you, all right, he will let you know that. Okay. If he got into a car accident, he will let you know that. I'm just using that for an example, but I'm just saying there won't be, oh, what happened to him? Where is he? Okay. If somebody's putting you in a position like that, that is somebody that you do not want to give another minute of your time to. Okay. That is somebody that's not really interested in you and they will waste your time. And what they'll do is they'll try to draw you back in. Okay. After they've disappeared, they will contact you and they will love bomb you again to bring you back in. Don't fall for the bait. Okay. Don't fall for the bait. A person that is a respectful person that is sincere in what they are telling you about getting to know you, there won't be a mystery, okay? There won't be a mystery. It's like when you're at a job, okay? Your job, your boss doesn't sit there and wonder what happened to you, why you didn't show up for work, because you know better to let your boss know if you can't make it to work. And it's the same thing in a relationship, all right? When somebody's serious about something, they let that person know. So keep that in mind and understand that we are living in a me society, okay, which means that people are... Not everybody, but a large percentage of people are very self-absorbed. Just notice when you talk to people that you are on the dating sites with or whoever, 90% of the time they're talking about themselves, okay? And 90% of the time they're looking to see who's the best for them and they're not worried about blowing you off, okay? So you have to do what's good for you, okay? And you worry about what's good for you. Not that you're going to try to change people because you're not, all right? Either they like you or they don't. And if they like you, they will show you that amount of consistency every day, all right? And they won't have any problem getting on the phone with you. You have to take care of you in today's world, all right? You have to take care of you and stop expecting people, all right, to do what you ex what you would do because that's just the way it is okay not everybody will do the right thing and you know be upfront and honest unfortunately all right so you just got to protect yourself and you don't deal with people that don't treat you the way you should be treated you need to have those standards okay you need to have those standards and stop being so pleasing to the other person because you like them so much okay they need to do the same for you all right they need to rise themselves up and be worried about not breaking your boundaries all right the way you wouldn't want to break their boundaries because you like them they should worry the same way about not wanting to break your boundaries because they don't want to lose you either all right so i hope that helps you Please hit the subscribe button and share, okay? And uh, also check out my book on Amazon, Regain Your Power. 
Okay, you could read it free with Kindle's trial membership. I hope that helps you guys. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, share. Have a great day.